He's an MMA fighter who got his controversial start on the streets of South Florida tonight. Kimbo Slice being remembered by his fans after he suddenly died at the age of 42. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live tonight in Perrine, where the fighter honed his skills in backyard fights. Gary. Well, Kimbo Slice uh, began his uh, violent uh, life, adult life, here in a poor Perrine neighborhood in backyards like this one and in the streets, bare-fisted fighting that went all over the internet and helped lead to his career in a, a martial arts, a professional martial arts arena. A career cut short now. Mixed martial arts fighter Kimbo Slice, born Kevin Ferguson, enjoyed a brutal lifestyle. A pro only since 2007, he spent years in Perrine organizing street and yard fights, bare-fisted, brutal contests that went viral. Slice would parlay his notoriety into a mixed martial arts career. His death at 42 stuns those who worked out with him at an upscale Coconut Creek gym. Shocked. Just shocked, man. He's a relatively young man and um, relatively healthy, from what I understood. And uh, to hear that news just shocks all of us, actually. In a 2008 interview with CBS4, Slice said he felt constant pressure to perform. And that's what life is about, though, you know, beating the odds, you know, the, for the, those who said, I told you so, you know, proving them wrong. The ones who said, I know he could do it, you know, proving them right. Slice also performed some minor roles in several minor movies, but his main stage was the fighting ring. Billy Corbin produced a documentary on extreme fighting that featured lots of Kimbo Slice. It's a brutal, violent thing. You're taking a lot of, a lot of blows to the body and to the, to the brain. And so uh, I don't know that it's entirely surprising that, uh, that people die young. I, I totally forgave him. Dada 5000, also of Perrine, later to die of exhaustion, collapsed to the floor in bizarre fashion. Was the last person Slice fought. He beat Dada, but was stripped of the victory after testing positive for performance enhancing drugs. A lot of individuals, you know, they do what they, they do the things that they feel that they need to do, which is probably not in their best interest. It's not known if the drug Nondrolone that can cause fatal internal bleeding and heart failure contributed to Kimbo Slice's death at 42. Slice is survived by his six children and his partner of many years, Antoinette Ray. They lived in Coral Springs. We're live in Perrine, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.